one little rule of thumb that is good to remember, especially when you're establishing the values, is that uh, as things get farther away, the darks get lighter and the lights get darker. So the values tend to be less and less contrasty. The closer you are, the more the reds and the yellows come through and those make it look closer. Um, and the reason for that, the farther away you go, that's why mountains are blue and purple because we're in an atmosphere that's mostly nitrogen and oxygen. If you look at star clouds, like gas clouds out in the universe, uh, hydrogen glows red, oxygen glows blue, so does nitrogen when you know when you put an electron stream through it. Same thing here. Light photons make the sky blue. And especially if it's hazy, but generally just the atmosphere itself, the more atmosphere you have to punch through to get that light in, then the blue or something's gonna be the farther away. Look at that shadow over there and those shadows. If you squint, and squinting is very important for art, for artists. Um, those shadows are kind of a light blue. In fact, they're this, uh, not wild blue yonder, cadet blue. <laughs> this is a good color. Some of the others, too tutti fruity, you know, too bright. Don't want to do that. Um, but uh, see, like the sky, for instance, it's going to be this periwinkle. 